This is Kevin from Ubiquity Networks, and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a TFTP recovery of your firmware. For this example, I'll be using the Pico Station M2. The first step is to physically put the device into TFTP mode. To do this, you'll want to use something like a paperclip in order to press the reset button. You can locate the reset button in the small recessed hole next to the Ethernet port of the device. You're going to want to start with the device powered off and take the Ethernet cable coming from the PoE and place it up to the jack of the device but do not slide it in yet. You're then going to want to take your paper clip and press and hold the reset button while you power the device on. You want to hold the reset button for about 15 seconds and you can release the reset button. You can now see by this alternating flashing light pattern that the device is in TFTP mode. Now that the device is in TFTP mode, we should be able to ping it at the default IP address of 192.168.1.20. In order to do this, we need to make sure that we have a manual IP address set on our computer on the same subnet. I'm going to set mine to 192.168.1.10 and apply. To ping the device, I'm going to open up my terminal program and ping 192.168.1.20. Now that I've confirmed it's responding to pings, I can go ahead and make sure that the firmware file I want to upload to the device is in the current directory. You can do that by pressing LS. And I see that version 5.5 .5 is in this directory. Now Mac has a built-in TFTP client, which you can access by pressing TFTP. Once you're in the TFTP client, you can connect to the default IP address of 192.168.1.20. Now you're going to want to type in binary to put it into binary mode. And now you can put the firmware file on the device by pressing put and the name of the firmware file, xm v 5build 12536bin You're going to want to give it a minute. And now that we can see it sent the file, you want to still want to wait about 5 minutes to let the firmware get all the way on the device. So keep an eye on the LEDs of the Pico station or whatever device you're using and you'll see the lights turn off and you'll be just left with the two green lights again, the bottom light for power and the light above that for LAN. Once this is done, you should be able to access device back at the web page of 192.168.1.20. Thank you for watching.